Hey, it's me again. Yeah, we made it. We made a game in just 12 hours last time. And guess what? What? Now you're gonna make a game in 6 hours? Nah. Then what? 2 hours. Can you please stop? They're waiting for the video to get started. So it's gonna be a whole lot of fun this time and the game is gonna be more terrible than the previous one. So let's get into it. Let's create a new sprite. Triangle. Let's make it a tinier. Just like your And it's time for coding. And here we go. We have some jumping mechanics. I mean, what, what, what are you doing? Is this a game you're trying to make? It's, it's just gone. Stop, I don't have much time left. Now let's make a code for our camera, which will follow our player's movement. Da da da, da da da. And we have a camera following our player. What? You didn't notice that? I'll make some enemies, aka obstacles, then you'll get it. Code for our obstacles. And pew! Now let's animate our obstacle. And now everything seems to make sense. But still our player is not dying. Die you piece of sh Yeah, you suck. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Let's add some pause processing. Let's add the final object so we can win the game. You not suck. <laughs> Few minutes left and our game is pretty much done now. Yeah, it still looks like a sh**. But I tried. At least the gameplay works properly. And you know, that's what important. What the f Let me check the colors properly. Yeah, we're done. Yeah, it works properly. So as you know, I like to publish my games on Google Play Store. So we're just gonna work a little bit more on this game and turn it into a mobile game. First, I improve the color upgrade circle and added some color randomness. So the color will change randomly between given four colors when we hit the circle. Let's do some coding for that. We're changing colors randomly. Then I added some lava particles using Unity's built-in particle system. Looks cool. Added some particles to our player too. Then I created some 8-bit sound effects using the tool SFXR. And created some dope music in LMMS Studio. I added some crazy different obstacles, made the retry screen and animated it because you know, I don't like static objects. And there we go, the game is now playable on mobile. We have main menu, shop, settings, retry screen. And there it is. Tink is out now and it's available on the Play Store and if you want to play it, the link's down below. Yes, it's available for Android, Windows, Mac and Kali Linux. Uh, did I say Kali? No, Linux, yeah. And here is some gameplay with me playing on my phone. Let's see how long you can survive. You can share the screenshots of your high score with me on Discord, the links down below. And yeah, we're kinda done here. Smash like and subscribe and also share with your gamer friends. And see you in the next one.